Ask Reddit. R slash Ask Reddit by Redify. What's the tiny, entirely harmless thing that pisses you off? When people don't push their chairs in, when they leave a table or desk. Drives me nuts too. In the lunchroom at my work. You have to push in several chairs, just to walk to the coffee machine. Every. Time. When people in a group walk slowly, and block the entire hallway. Duck. You. In a similar fashion. People in grocery stores with carts. Walking as slow as it with their carts. Blocking the entire aisle. Oblivious to the fact, that there might be someone behind you trying to get around you. I work at a grocery store, and I'm trying to do my job and people just won't get out of the way. My mom does this and it drives me insane. If I go grocery shopping with her I'm always moving the cart out of people's way. I travel a lot. So people that don't understand how airports work. No. You can't wear your jacket through the security scanner. The sign says so. Right there. When they say everything out of your pockets they mean it. No you don't get to keep your car keys. Cell phone. iPad. And pet goldfish in your pocket. No. You can't fit your entire wardrobe into the overhead bin. Most, admittedly not all, major airlines board by group number. They explain this multiple times and your ticket and the lines show group numbers. Don't argue with a lady, because you're too dumb to understand this. No you may not store your extra hit under my seat. Taking my leg room. If you want to lean back. Fine. Please just give me a heads up first, so you don't smash my hands when you slam my laptop shut. Why do you need to recline, like you're making the jump to light speed anyway? Don't get pissed when the person at the desk slash store etc doesn't speak English, or speak it well. You are in an international airport in a foreign country. You seem like the guy that's always speak English in America. Learn it or get out. Well. You are in Germany. They speak German. You duck. Don't make me the bad guy, because I don't want to switch seats. You can plan, and pick your seat, again. Usually, if you're traveling with 17 healthborn children and their travel bags and toys etc. It's up to you to figure that out. It's not my fault. I paid for this seat. Probably for a very specific reason. Like legroom. Don't make me the bad guy. On the other hand, babies cry. It's a 10 hour flight. It's gonna happen. Stop making it worse, by acting like a child yourself. I'm getting tense just thinking about it. As a frequent flyer I agree with all of this. Especially going through security and slamming the seat back on the plane. I'm happy for you to slowly recline your seat to give me time to move something in the way. Having a cup of cold water go flying over you because the person in front decided to slam their chair back suddenly mid-flight puts you in a mood. Especially when they then glassé around at you then back as if nothing happened. A quick sorry wouldn't have gone astray. Even a single bubble on a screen protector. Turn on the shower. Close the bathroom door and let a little bit of steam form, not full rainforest. You don't want to damage your phone. Just get some moisture in the air. Apply screen protector in steamy bathroom. Boom. No dust or bubbles. Have you verified that this works? Or is this from some BuzzFeed article? When people mindlessly share things on FB without even checking to see if it's true. Amber alerts for kids from 2013. Made up political facts. Health curates, use your friggin brain. People. I should probably just block my mill. I'd be much happier. I really wish Facebook would put a ducking date on news posts. Like how they strip an image from the site. Strip the ducking date too. I'm sure we can work it into the meter tags or something. Guys. Please. They can't do that, because it would make too much sense. When getting ice, and I drop an ice cube. I don't lose my hit or anything like that. But a darkness briefly falls on my heart when a piece of ice hits the floor. No idea why. Till, get a pet who likes to eat ice. Thanks everyone. Just kick it under the fridge. Don't do this, you'll end up with a stockpile of ice cubes under your fridge. When people spit their chewing gum out in the drinking fountain slash water cooler and leave it there in the basin. I see this hit all the time in school. You can't be bothered to walk an extra four ducking feet to spit it in the trash. Or in the men's urinal. Hey. Asshole. 
Some poor bastard now has to reach in there and pick it out. Duck off. One of my professors will drink out of her water bottle. It's so tiny. But the way she does it makes it completely infuriating. Every other normal person on the planet will finish their sentence. Take a sip. And continue. She however will be midward and shove the bottle into her own face. Then make this surprised MFF sound, like she had no idea it was coming. Then she'll finish her word. Today we will be learning about mod MFF or arithmetic when used in ciphers. Suppose you HMFF at a clock and you needed to see what TMFF I mid would be in 14 how MFF RS. Ha 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 This actually sounds hilarious. Then make this surprised MFF sound, like she had no idea it was coming. I'm dying. It's the attack of the ninja water bottle. I can imagine her thoughts, hit, not water again. When will this end? Dogs barking continuously. Makes my blood ducking boil. I live in an apartment. Number one pet peeve of mine now. Dog below us is very vocal when its owner isn't around, which sucks when working night shifts. Pet peeve. Heh. I might end up deleting this, but a lot of small children in public places that I need to be. My job is at a train stop that has two schools and a daycare nearby, ages 3, 6, and exiting the train is a ducking minefield at 8am that I'm never ready for. They are like moving landmines. Their parents put the small children in front of them like a repellent shield you have to dodge. The parents also let these kid walk up the stairs and most of them suck at it. Need groceries? Everyone in this area has small children. It reminds me of Nickelodeon's Legend of the Hidden Temple. I love kids. In small numbers. As a parent. What infuriates me are the 40-something parents with infant children who have it figured out. I was on the tee and this woman kept saying use your words. Let's go and basically blocked an entire train as her 2 year old couldn't navigate or communicate properly and we should all wait until little sissy gets it right. Duck point that. My kid, I direct. Move and control. I keep him out of harm's way in the way of the rest of the world. I especially hate it when I'm in line waiting to purchase something and that's the moment the parents decide to teach their children about money and change. No it's not. Your 2 year old holding up the line because they have no clue what you're talking about isn't worth it. That's for something to do with them at home. It's not cute. The cashier doesn't think it's cute. The line of people behind you doesn't think it's cute. When boiled eggs don't peel correctly and the skin stuff takes out entire chunks of the egg. If you steam rather than boil the eggs. The shell comes off easier. Bonus level. Prick a hole in the edit large end of the egg and keep it upright while steaming. Shell comes off like magic. I have an egg steamer and you have to prick a hole in the large end of the egg and keep that side up. If you do the small end of the egg. A bunch of the albumin boils out the top and makes a mess. They do peel super easy though. Also older eggs peel better than fresh eggs. When your conversation partner stands 2 inches to close. Just move back there 2 inches. Buddy. Actually. Make it 8. Bro. They aren't close enough unless you can feel the hot air from their nostrils. L. T T H E T T H L. I'm a waitress. So we say behind you a lot. I like to sneak up behind people and very soft and breathily say I'm behind you, so they can feel my breath on their neck hairs. It's funny to me. In shows slash movies when someone gets married, and they say I now pronounce you man and wife. The guy was already a man. It should be husband and wife. How do gay marriages work? Exactly? I now pronounce you man and man. Thanks for noticing. Dude. Edit. Too many men's. Now reduced to two men why men's. I went to a gay wedding in December. And the minister said. I introduced to you. Woman's name. And. Woman's name. Married under the grace of God. It was a religious ceremony. I thought that was nice. People who have no idea what zipper merging is. And who guard their spot in line like a dragon guards its treasure. What is zipper merging? I've anyways heard it referred to as dry humping. A smudge on the inside of my windshield. OFFS. And when you go to clean it. Then you have to clean the entire dam inside of your windshield. Which on a car like mine means contorting my hands and body into positions they were never meant to be in. Also. 
whatever the hit is that manages to stick to the inside of my windshield is 10 times harder to clean off than what's on the outside. While we're at it, who's the duckhead who thought that little space between your center console and your seat was a good idea? You know. The one that's big enough to swallow phones, food, change, and pens but too small to fit your hand in? I only get 30 minutes to grab lunch when I'm working. And I work odd hours. So I look up places to eat on Yelp or Google. It says they are open. I go there and they are closed. Seems like it's not a big deal. But now I don't have time to go anywhere else and don't get to eat. How hard is it to put your accurate open hours hours online? On a similar note. Just crappy restaurant website design in general. I don't need your whole history. Your chef's life story. And pictures of people having a good time. I want three things. Location. Bowers. Menu. They should be present and obvious. OMG this. I don't understand restaurants that have a website but no menu. Why the duck would even have a restaurant if you're not going to tell people what you serve. It's not even hard. Just ducking photocopy the menu and upload a ducking PDF. Not clearing microwave time. The idea of not wanting to wait for more seconds is pretty illogical. Every single time I clear a microwave at home, or work I say. And now it's a clock again. My mom spent years seething over this every time my dad used the microwave. And slamming the the button when he was out of the room. And violently itching about it all the time. Never did she politely ask him to maybe clear it. She also hated that he pressed the buttons the wrong way. And used the automatic one minute button. Yes. Violent. Vicious reactions. Hours of complaining. On top of a million other things she felt he did wrong. While she was abusing my dog regularly. Complaining that my dad's chronic pain was a problem for her because it annoyed her when he screamed. And stealing his pain pills. Keeping me from medical care. I have permanent nerve damage now or having friends. And eventually forbidding me to speak to my dad. In our house. I sometimes leave the seconds on my microwave in my home just to spite her. We don't use it as a clock. Not sure why I felt they was relevant. But uh. I'll shut up now. Who am that's not normal. Kitchen cupboards left open. What's really funny is when you forget it's open and raise up. Slamming the soft, tender center of your scalp right into the corner with the full inertia of your rising body. It's just fantastic. People who send chains. No duck off I won't send this BS to 10 people. At most you're getting blocked. All those annoying. Let's see how my real friends are copy and paste hit on Facebook. Your VS yeah. To VS too. There vs there vs there. Lose vs loose it's not that ducking hard. Also would of. Should of. Could of. I had a hard time just writing that and not deleting it. For those that don't know. It's wolf. Sholv. Kolv. The ven is a contraction of the word have. Kindv. People who stand just a bit too close while you're queuing. No. Stop it. You're not gonna get there faster by breathing down my neck. Also people who stand 10 feet back from the next person. Are you even in the line? Large discrepancies between dialogue volume and the music in TV shows. Movies are worse than TV shows in my experience. Though it's usually explosions and other sound effects. Rather than music. And in the next scene. Everyone is whispering. It's pretty much the reason I watch everything with subtitles on these days. People who use words at the end of acronyms that are part of the acronym. Like ATM machine. Pisses me off to no end. WTF duck. Make sure to like and subscribe so we can watch together.